Taking my zone drop, I've set. I'm looking at the quarterback. I'm breaking downhill in front of the receiver to go uh, catch the football, intercept the football. So now we get a chance to work all those different phases uh, in the passing game. And, you know, we talk about catching the football. It's all about hands and eyes and making sure we're seeing the ball. I want to see your eyes on the football because you can't catch it if you don't look at it. Okay, uh, the next phase that we're going to go to here is uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, what we call our can drill, and we'll give, we'll give the linebackers all their reads, all their run reads off of this particular drill here. And what, what I'll do as a coach is I'll, I'll, I'll stand back there as, as a tailback or whatever back it is that you're reading and, and give them their reads from here so that now uh, we know where our fits are. And we want to make sure that when, when you do this drill, I mean, I want to try to get as many guys working. It looks a little bit like, like a lot of guys work, but we, we want to try to get as many reps as we can in these particular drills here. Obviously, this is something that you can do. As you can see, we're not in pads at all, but it, but it gets them working, going in the direction that they're supposed to. We want you working downhill as fast as you can, no false steps. Our first step needs to be positive and going to where we're, where we're supposed to be. Okay, now in this particular one here, we're working a counter read. And what I want to see here is, again, when we talk about the counter read, we want to try to eliminate all those false steps that they want us to take when, 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 uh, when they give us a counter. Okay, so we're going to teach that. All right, we're going to teach it that when they see that counter read, they shouldn't be shuffling and moving with it. They should be going in the opposite direction because that's where the ball is going to go. And then you can use that particular drill for whatever runs that you're going to see. This particular drill we call the counter drill. And basically what we're going to do is the coach is going to simulate uh, the kind of look that we're going to get uh, if we get a counter step. And now, like I said earlier, I mean, we don't want to, we want to try to eliminate that hop step by the linebacker, but if we get it, we have to be able to come back. And, and, and for all the outside linebackers, they're probably going to, their, their angle is going to be a little bit wider than the mic. The mic or inside linebacker is probably going to be a little bit tighter. But those outside linebackers, when they get that counter, they're going to be working back downhill. Trying to get back downhill, it's going to be a little bit wider than the inside backer. So now what we'll simply do is, and we'll get them on that inside cone, okay? Now they'll have to work back the other way, and again, working themselves around the cone. We will work the same drill with the Mike linebacker, and the only difference would be that he would release inside the cone, okay? Once he comes back around and, and, and finishes the drill, He'll release inside the cone. This next drill here, we call it a rail drill, and basically what it, what it is is in certain situations, as I go towards where the ball is going, that blocker is going to be somewhere either high on me or low on me, and that will tell me what to do and how to take him on. If he's right on my track, and if it's an outside play, then I'll rip him and get by. If he's high on me, and what I mean by high is, if he gets out of the track and, and up the field, then I'll rip him underneath. If he's right on my track, and I may have to face and hands him, that's what I'll do. Like in this particular situation here, if, he, if he's right downhill on me right now, then if I have to use face and hands on him, then that's what I'll do. I want to talk a little bit about tackling. We have a couple of different drills here that we'll use. Uh, this first one uh, is just a, a real close quarter angle tackle here. And all we're working is getting our face across, driving our feet uh, inside out, head and eyes up, and seeing the football. The next drill that we'll use is just an angle tackle or a sideline tackle. And what we want to make sure we do is we want to make sure we stay on the backside hip we want to make sure we force him to the sideline and don't give him a, a, a two-way go. We want to eliminate where he can get to. This is a pretty good rep here by this linebacker. He's on the backside hip. He's taking away the inside. Then he's shooting his, his face across the ball right at the, uh, at the last minute. As soon as he gets into the contact area, and he's driving him back about five yards. That's a pretty good drill right there. Here what we're working is, is, is we're working a tackling drill once again, and this is this is early in spring practice with no pads, and, and we're, we're working just the techniques here, the techniques of the drill, even though we don't have any pads on, so that when we do put the pads on, uh, we'll know what we're doing. The first guy, and I represent just, just the first blocker to get him going. The second blocker is going to be a rip. We want to rip, and then we want to get a nice uh, angle tackle form tackle at the end.
Okay, staying nice and square. Okay, and the reason why I have him finishing, I have him finishing behind the ball carrier is because, again, we don't want to make we want to make sure we stay out. Don't get too o over the top of the ball carrier. We don't want to get in front of the ball carrier. We want to stay on that backside hip. We want to rip and stay right on that backside hip. Then we'll then when it comes time to tackle, uh, we'll shoot our head across. So here now, once we get the pads on, same drill, we'll get the rip, head nice across, nice form tackle. Rip and tackle. Now, another tackling drill that we'll use, again, we're working downhill at an angle, staying square, exploding, running our feet at the end and drive, drive, drive. Bang, we want to get face across and running those feet. Biggest thing with tackling is once you make your, your contact, get your head and eyes across and run your feet. One of the big drills that we use to get them to run their feet, we'll use the popsicle or one man sled. And we're going to drive, and this is all about making the contact, head and eyes up, and driving the feet. what we're going to do here is we're going to add what we talked about ripping the blocker and coming back to square and being able to make a tackle. Now what we're going to do is, is we're going to actually add the ball carrier. Uh, the yellow pad represents the, the, the other, the whole area and, and it's going to be a small area that once I rip I got to get back to square and, and be ready to come downhill and make a tackle. What you see here is a linebacker ripping and trying to get himself back to square. This is not bad here. Good pad level is not bad. Rip coming, getting back to balance and staying low. Okay, this one here is a good illustration of probably getting knocked a little bit outside of the hole there. We want to be a little bit more firm on that block and getting myself back, getting myself back downhill and square. Probably a little bit too high on this one. Linebacker's a little bit high. He's going to get knocked off balance. Okay. We want to get down and we want to get, we want to get as low as we possibly can, get skinny here. This is not a bad job right here. Get skinny and make a nice tackle. Rip, get your head across and drive. On this particular drill, what we're working is uh, facing hands on the line and trying to get separation, seeing the ball carrier and reacting to, which, to what he does. So now what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to come we're going to we're going to work at the V of the neck of the bar carry we're going to be try to be as low as we possibly can stay as low as we can use our face and hands get some separation if the bar carry cuts back we we have the ability to cut back and make the play if he stays front side we can uh, fall back and uh, or get over the top and make the play there as well sometimes he stays front side so now use face and hands get off and now accelerate our feet on the contact and drive him back. This is not bad here. Good separation, good body lean, get him off. Now fight back and drive, drive, drive. We want to try to knock him back. Not bad job on the drill there. Face and hands. And we want to make sure we, we, we get our separation, get that guy knocked back because he's going to continue to try to block because we've got to try to get him under control if we can. Good. Facing hands, separation, accelerate and tackle. Now what we're going to get into right now is are some of the plays that we're going to see and how we how we'll defense them. Now what you'll see is some of the some of the same techniques applied here on our lead blocks. Good same foot, same shoulder. Taking on the blocker and the linebacker coming over the top and, 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 and trying to make the tackle here. That was to the strong side, to the weak side, same thing. 
We want to hit the block. We want to get to the, to the, to the blocker as deep and, and as thick as we can, get a lot of them. We get them about a yard deep. We want to knock them back, keep in leverage, and get to the ball. And I tell the linebacker that's taking on the block, I want him to try to, to stone the guy, get him stopped, and also be able to come off and make the play. It may sound like a lot, but I think a lot of times uh, those guys have a good chance to do it. Now, incorporated in this particular play here is uh, that same footwork and shuffle drill that we talked about before. As you can see, the ball carrier is starting to the right. We're shuffling, working downhill. Now he comes back. We make uh, the same adjustment and come back and make the play. Now in this particular play here, uh, the weak side linebacker is going to use, uh, try to use the face and hands here, get off a block and just turn and run and get to the football. Anytime we're taking on an offensive lineman, we, we want to try as best we can not to give him much surface to block it. So that's why we'll use face and hands, even though they're a little, they're a little bit bigger. We want to use face and hands on them and, and try to keep them away from our body and, and get off them as fast as we possibly can. We're going to shed. We're going to try to stay as square as we possibly can here. And everybody just making their way to the football. Uh, in this particular play, um, we call power row, and it's probably one of the top plays that we, we're going to see uh, in the particular defense that we play. And, and what you're going to see here is you're going to see the linebackers keeping the shoulders square and being able to make the play uh, even though he's trying to get blocked. And this is the middle linebacker here. They're, they're blocking down on him, but he stays nice and square, sees the football, wraps, drives his feet, knocks the ball carrier back. We'll get the same play again. Now, in this particular play here, the blocking scheme is a little bit different. So now the linebackers, again, they're, gonna, they're, they're keeping their shoulders square, working downhill, pressing the line of scrimmage, and seeing the football. Now, if we don't get that block, then that should keep us free to the football either way. Now, what we're going to talk about here are just a couple of different types of tackles. Certainly, we talked already about angle, working downhill, ripping. And getting to the ball carrier here, what we're going to see is we're going to, we're going to work, talk about an open field tackle, okay, where the ball carrier gets the ball out in space, and it's up to us to make the play. There's a lot of green grass out there, and what we have to do is we have to get ourselves under control, balance up, run our feet, stay on the inside of them so you, so you can't cut back, and be able to make the play in space. What we incorporate here is that angle tackle that we showed a little bit earlier, okay. We want to stay on the inside part of the, uh, of the ball carrier. Now, at the last minute, you want to try to shoot, shoot your head across. But what I'll tell you is, is that when we get out in space, sometimes you know, you're not going to be able to make that, that picture-perfect tackle. And what you want to try to do is just, just get the guy on the ground. Now we're working across the formation. And again, as you can see, it kind of looks like that same angle tackle that we worked a little bit earlier in the, uh, in the tape. One of the major problems with linebackers missing tackles is sometimes they want to try to make the tackle from too far away. What you have to make sure your linebackers do is take that one extra step of getting to the football. Here we're getting the power to the weak side. The wheel linebackers working downhill, scraping hard off the end, being able to balance up and make a nice uh, angle uh, form tackle here. Sometimes when you get out in space, like I said before, you need to be able to get the guy on the ground. And I think here, this is a good illustration. Of, of the linebacker keeping his knees bent, playing from inside out, coming to balance, and striking a blow. And again, same thing here, coming to balance and striking a blow. I hope there was something in this tape that you could use and uh, that you could apply to, to, to your linebackers and something that would be helpful for you in the future. Thank you very much.